All right, everybody, let me show you what we're gonna build today with something called HANA. Look at this. This right here works on the web and I build it with zero coding. And so it's using Spline3D's new 2D canvas editor called HANA. And it allows you to build really cool stuff like this without touching code. And it works on web. So if there's HTML, CSS involved, it will work. So it'll work on your phone. If it's a web app, it'll work on your browser, of course, as well. So we're only scratching the surface here. There's a lot more to cover, which I will be in this tool going forward and maybe integrating it into some AI projects. So make sure to follow up here, subscribe, check out designcourse.com and let's get started. All right, so once you log into your Spline account, go to create up here and then choose HANA 2D design. Okay, now the way this works is you deal in frames, just like in um, Figma, you have frames. Hit F on your keyboard or right up here, and then just left click and drag out. And I'm kind of looking at the size over here when I drag out. If you want it to be, you know, like consistent with a certain aspect ratio, 1920, 1080, that way you can kind of imagine what it looks like on browser. So control in your mouse scroll wheel will zoom in and out. It's kind of sh like janky a little bit. Uh, I wish they would fix that so it's not so janky fast when you uh, zoom, but no big deal. And what I want to do is take the fill and we want to, let's see here. I'm going to choose like a pinkish color, real light. So that color code happens to be RGB 242. 214, 251. Okay, um, now what we wanna do is I wanna create a frame in the form of a card. And then we're going to replicate those cards multiple times and then do the orbital thing. Um, and so what we'll do is, let me zoom up just a bit more. Frame, hit F. I'd say like right around there is a good size just to eyeball it. We'll go come over here and give it a fill and we'll make the fill white. And then also we will add some corner radius just a little bit, like around 33. Eh, let's drag that down to maybe like around 20. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now we have our frame here. We'll just rename this to card. And we're gonna go ahead and just real quickly, just put a basic uh, layout together. So you can use circles, hit O on your keyboard to get that. Maybe we'll put like a little bit of a status icon, hold shift when you drag that out to make it a perfect circle. We'll change it to like a greenish color. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe we'll make it a little bit larger. And then I'll hit T for the type tool and I'll go ahead left click and then we'll specify status. And then we can come over here, change up the font here. I'm gonna choose uh, to search for Bboss. Bboss new. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, whatever, <laughs> we'll make it black. And we'll get this situated so that it's in the center. And if you want it to be perfectly aligned up to the size, you know, you can make your adjustments as such, but I think right here is good. We'll get this tidied up. Okay, so that's the first thing. And then we'll go ahead and take this type, Control D to duplicate it. And let's just drag this all the way across. And I'm gonna specify, double click here. We'll just say your ticket, but we're gonna make it large. Let's try like a font size of like 300. No, way too large, uh, 200. No, <laughs> okay then. Uh, all right, so let's try 150, 125. Okay, that's good. So we'll put this maybe like right here, duplicate it, control D. And this time I uh, try like 30. Claim ticket now, something simple like that. And we'll say that this is our, here, let's just move this over. All right, we'll say that this is our very brief card that we just designed, okay? So now uh, what we'll do is we're gonna take this card and we're going to replicate it multiple times. And so temporarily I will just drag this out so we have enough space to view it. So control D, control D with those two selected. And we're gonna do it one more time. Control D selected. Yeah, somewhere right around there is good. All right. So once you have all those, then what we want to do is we're going to, let me make this even larger, just temporarily. 
All right, so now what we wanna do is take the frame tool, hit F on your keyboard, and right around here, I'm gonna drag out a shape like this, a frame. Now that automatically puts everything inside of the actual frame uh, that we just created right here. All this stuff is inside of there uh, as child elements. Now we can call this card container. And then what we can do is come down here to effects and choose 3D projection. Okay, so now if we come down to the 3D projection settings right here, we could start making adjustments, like for instance, the perspective, but I'm not gonna change that. The one thing I wanna change is the, let's see here, the cylinder, the type, and then also we will adjust the X value. Now you can't see this, it's kind of hard to see right now. What I'll do is I uh, get back to like 1920, and then we'll take a card container All right, you can kind of see when you adjust the height or the width value of the actual card container, it kind of allows you to control how many are showing up. So if I go all the way out, I think right here is good. There's like four of them. Okay, so what's cool is like you can simulate real quickly some animation by taking the Y value right here and just dragging. Ah, look at that. Okay, so now, now that we have that, I, we could start to play around with this, these other settings a little bit more. So, you know, you have the rotation right here. I think right around there is good. This, we're just gonna set to zero for now. And then of course, you could also rotate this for an even different look. I'm gonna leave that off. And then we can add lighting or shading. So this is really cool because now we can control colors. So like the light color, let's grab this color. Um, the shadow color, let's change this color as well, except come down. There we go, maybe something like that. We could also change all these other settings. Um, I'm not gonna get mess, I'm gonna, not gonna mess with those too much right now. We just wanna make sure any colors we choose, they kinda make sense and they complement with the background color pretty well. All right, so now that we have that, I do kinda wanna make things just a little bit bigger there we go now the height seems a little bit off so I'm just going to adjust the height value to seven so now in order to make this animate what we'll do is click on states and then for our state the second state that's created let's go back down here to our settings we're gonna change the Y value from 0 to 360 now nothing's gonna change in front of us in terms of the appearance but these are two different values for that, that value that we just changed for the Y value. Now we could just choose uh, plus under events and under start, that's the one we want. We want a transition, click transition. We wanna go from base state to the current state, which is correct. Let's change the uh, length to like 10 seconds and then change the easing to linear because this is gonna be an infinite loop. So we change loop to infinite. All right, so now we click play and guess what we have our freaking card this is so cool so now with that in mind let's go ahead and i'll show you another super quick way of creating another really cool effect so we'll take the uh, ellipse tool and i'm just going to create a element now when you drag stuff it's going to move stuff around inside of the actual layout view if that happens just go back into the frame view that's good there we go okay so now we have our ellipse. Oh, I didn't realize there was two of them. Let's delete that. Here's our ellipse right here. I'm gonna put this at the top. And what we'll do is I'm gonna make this white and then take the opacity down quite a bit, like right around there. And what I wanna do is I wanna um, move this over so that it's right over there, but we don't want it inside, so we need to adjust that. It literally put it there, so let's go back up. So now we can select under effects, liquid gl glass. Oh, this is so cool. So now under the liquid glass settings, we can really increase uh, and play around with some of these, uh, these settings. Distortion, this is the main one that'll really uh, go crazy. Depth, okay. <laughs> 
Now we move this around, look how cool that is. See how you can even embed this effect, but of course that keeps on happening, very annoying, okay. Now we could just probably lock that layer and it won't happen anymore. So now, um, and by the way, we can also adjust the blurriness, uh, the blur value, like if we don't want it very blurred, there we go. So now what we could do, if we just hit play, it's just gonna sit there, that's not that exciting. Um, we'll take the pen tool, hit P on your keyboard. I'm just gonna create a quick rectangle, or not a rectangle, a triangle, and then we'll make the, uh, let's see here, we'll get rid of the stroke, we'll give it a fill of black. All right, we'll also grab it and give it a little bit of uh, rounded corners. Then I'm going to take this sucker and just move it straight over on top. Now it looks like it's been morphed here. There we go. Increase the size. Okay, so now with that selected, we could take those two elements and group them. Now with the group in place, we can just go ahead under events come over here and change it to follow. So it's gonna follow the mouse and we increase dampening maybe by nine or 10 and watch what happens now. Ooh, look at that. Very, very cool. So now this becomes as easy or simple as simply if you're ready to use it on your site, you hit play, I mean not play, you hit export, let's take our frame export and we want to embed this so all we have to do is click copy embed but a couple important settings here i don't want the logo i don't want a page i want page scroll you'll see why in a bit um, and background color if we wanted it to have like a transparent color that way we can have whatever we want in our html behind it that's overlaid on top or behind it or beneath it you can see that but we'll leave this uh, show just to keep that background color contain cover actual responsive Responsive will be important if you're using their layout features, um, but we're not doing that. I think we're gonna switch to cover for this. Now, when you click export, it's just going to update everything. So you only have to copy the embed code once, and then we'll go over to cursor or whatever IDE you use, and we'll integrate this. So I have an index.html, it's blank. Here in cursor, um, if you're using VS Code, you can do the same thing. Ex hit the exclamation, exclamation point, enter gives us some basic boilerplate. I'm not gonna use AI to help because this is so simple. Um, and then all we're gonna do is I'm gonna paste in the area um, that we just copied from Spline. Now, if I hit save and right click and open with live server, we'll see our project. Now there's a little bit of, um, what do you call, little borders, which is by default because of the HTML for the body element. So if we wanted to, we could, just come out here with some inline CSS style equals um, margin zero, padding zero. Um, let's leave that off for now. So now if I save this, we will see it is completely consuming our browser here, window. Now we can't scroll, if we wanted to scroll down, like maybe this is a hero section, for instance. So now if we wanted the hero section, I, what we could do is just put container and take the closing tag, put it underneath here, save it, go back, and there we go. So now it's like you could have, you could even have like a navigation up here or something. This is your ticket for whatever purpose, maybe a little bit of a click animation. We haven't set that up or anything, but there you go. I mean, incredibly powerful tool that unlocks a lot of possibilities. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I will be covering this more so, perhaps in the context of integrating into an AI app soon. And I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.